love this bike. Uh, what is up guys, Jerry Campisi. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of the custom S1000 RR series. You know the drill, we're customizing this bike. We're giving it away when we're done. Uh, you can check it out, help support the projects on Patreon. It's just patreon.com slash Campisi Customs. It's always the first link in the description below. I am heading down to Ducati of Santa Barbara to install a custom painted set of Rotobox Boost carbon fiber wheels supplied by our sponsor Manny at Moto Million. And this is gonna be the first piece of the bike that you're gonna to start to reveal the paint scheme for our bike. So although we are doing a full carbon bike, we are gonna be painting parts of it. And you're gonna find out what colors those are gonna to be today. And I cannot freaking wait. So sit back guys, relax, and enjoy the video. So for those of you who don't know, good God. The s 1000 rm package does actually come with carbon wheels, so people are probably wondering why are you replacing those wheels. Well, first of all, they actually did have been having some issues with these wheels cracking and uh, some other things. There were some recalls on the wheels. Now, when I took mine down to the S1000 or to the BMW dealer, they did check out all of the wheels and they looked at all the other recalls, and these wheels are in fact fine. But I wanted to get a, a custom painted set of carbon wheels. And so that's why we went with the uh, the Rotobox Boost wheels because on Rotobox website you can actually have them custom painted and there's a bunch of different options for what you can do and you'll see what we had done here in a minute. But um, yeah, I, I wanted to uh, I wanted to put a different set of wheels on them. I think the Boost wheels look really good on this, and I'm actually going to be really curious to see if there's any sort of weight difference from uh, these carbon wheels that come stock with this bike and then the Boost wheels. I think the Boost wheels are some of the uh, one of the lightest pairs of carbon wheels you can get. So. Yeah, I'm excited, man. This is, uh, we actually have the carbon subframe in too. That just came in. So I think after we do the wheels, we'll do the chain and sprocket and then we'll start, start installing carbon on this bad boy. It's going to be so sick, guys. I cannot wait. So I'm going to enjoy my ride down there because it's a freaking beautiful day in Southern California. God, it's just so ridiculous, this thing. And uh, I'll check in with you guys when we get down there. All right, Alex and Teens have arrived. They brought the uh, carbon wheels along with the scales and some other stuff. So now we can finally take a look at these bad boys. Uh, my buddy Rupp stopped by too. Brian's here, Preston. It's a freaking beautiful day. Like, look at this. God, I love Santa Barbara. But we're going to unload everything and then take a look at these wheels. All right, so let's take a look at these Rotobox Boost wheels that are custom painted that we got through our sponsor, Manny, at Moto Million. And this is something I've been waiting for for guys, so guys. long, guys. Look at that. So we did gloss carbon, and then we had everything painted blue. So the lettering's in blue, the entire uh, rim is painted blue, and whoops. Look at how good that looks. Even the stem's blue. Let's look put at it in that. in the sun. Yeah, let's bring it out to the sun. What do you think, teens? Beautiful. It's awesome, right? And so, the reason that we had them painted blue is because we're gonna color match this blue and add car uh, blue accents on the carbon for the bike as well. Look at that, guys. Freaking amazing. Shine. I can't wait to see how these look on this thing. Hold on, what do you guys think? Look awesome. So yeah, gloss carbon, blue painted, and then we're gonna color match this blue and add highlights on the carbon too with the bike. That's nice. pretty Isn't that badass? Yeah. Yeah, that <laughs> gonna be so sick these are I think the lightest wheels you can get so we're gonna weigh I want to weigh these compared to the uh, the BMW carbon wheels and let's find out if they're lighter at all they'll probably be really close but all right so that was the front wheel that you just saw there this is the back wheel we also got uh, car uh, ceramic <clears throat> bearings as well which will r help reduce fr friction allow the bike to be a little bit faster and smoother look at that just absolutely stunning look That's at the freaking yeah let's Ooh. weigh these and then we'll uh, pull the other ones off on a side note, <laughs> my buddy Rupp, this is his uh, ZR2 Colorado on 37 inch wheels. He's gone freaking everywhere in this thing. If you guys are into trucks, I'll put his Instagram right here on the page. He does such cool shit with this thing, it's freaking crazy. Actually, if you'd like to see us go off-roading with him and do a video, let us know in the comment section below, it'll be a lot of fun. All right, up next we're gonna weigh these bad boys. So let's go ahead, this is the front wheel. Set it on there however you wanna set it. And we'll weigh the other ones the same way. God, that wheel looks so good. So it looks like the front wheel is six pounds, six pounds exactly. Okay, and then let's weigh the uh, back wheel. All right, so we since Alex can't get his uh, bike license, his parents won't let him, we said, why don't we just give him this pink scooter over here? I like this. I like this a lot. Dude. <laughs> you got 
He looks, he looks so ridiculous on this thing. Right. That is hilarious. Hey, I was on one of these for about three minutes and wrecked it. So, <laughs> never wrecked a bike, but I wrecked a scooter in like three minutes. At least it's time. What do you think, guys? Does Alex need this scooter? Let us know in the comment section below. <laughs> All right, that's the back wheel. Look at that, guys. I know, but this one's thicker. You know, know like you can really see the carbon that well. Girth. That is so cool. Look at that. Look at my hair. You know me and my girth, babe. All right. Get that wheel on there. <laughs> Let's find out how much it weighs. Here we go. And the magic number eight is, pounds. wow, eight pounds. Damn, that's a lot bigger and it's only two pounds more. Okay, so eight for the back and six for the front. All right, so now we're gonna remove the rear wheel first and find out if these things are gonna be heavier or lighter. I'm, I think these are gonna be just a touch heavier, but I think it's gonna be like not even enough to matter. So we'll see. Okay, so that didn't take very long. <laughs> Just dropping it down right now. Remove the rotor. That was quick. We actually do have new chain adjusters and we have a new chain and sprockets as well, which I think we'll do in the next episode because I don't have them yet. But uh, that will save some weight too. And this chain is massive, holy shit. Yeah. We'll be doing a 520 conversion, so it'll be a little bit lighter, a little bit thinner. All right, so we just realized that um, it uses a different sprocket carrier. This is the stock one, and the uh, the Rotobox wheel uses a different carrier, and I don't know if I have the carrier yet, so I gotta check with Manny and see, so we might be able to just only put them on and just leave them sitting there for now. And then we're taking this uh, front off instead. All right, so the first thing he's doing is just removing the calipers. These are BMW calipers from Hayes. They're gonna get replaced. We don't have the, uh, the Brembo system yet, but for now, we'll just leave those on there, but there you go. And then what, is that it? Pop the axle. Pop the axle, axle. axle. okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's funny, Manny just called me. There's a little accessory box right here. It's actually in this one. So we got the hub carrier, so we can put the wheels on today. Sick, I can't wait. So we are gonna have other rotors coming. I believe uh, Manny's sending us the T-Drive rotors, uh, but we don't have them yet, so that means we have to swap all these over. He's even gonna send us uh, full titanium bolts and everything for the new rotors as well. He actually is sending us full titanium bolts for all of the carbon too. Oh, <laughs> so wow. every every bolt, almost every bolt, oh, bolt on the bike is gonna be swapped out. Obviously not the ones on the inside, but. Very cool. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. All right, so he's letting some air out of the tire, and then he's gonna pull this puppy off the carbon wheel, and then we can weigh these to find out which one weighs more. You guys make a guess in the comment section below. Tell us which one weighs more. Don't cheat and skip ahead either, because I'll find out. <laughs> I'll come find your ass. That is actually for a stock carbon wheel. I think it does actually look pretty cool. It does. You know? Okay, you, yeah. you can do your thing. What's that? You can put your butt in the camera. Okay. <laughs> you want to get that on film, huh? Everybody wants to see that, yeah. Brian. Screw Christina. Yeah. We got Bri. Here we go. Something so mesmerizing about watching tires be put on. <laughs> just, just makes me feel so good. Look at that. Just like that, she's off. He makes it look so easy, you know? All right, let's weigh this fucker. All right, moment of truth. Let's see which one's lighter. Teens, how much are you weighing? 124, babe. Get it together. <laughs> yeah, in her bra. Have you seen that? <laughs> liar, liar. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Please be more than six pounds. Oh yeah, see, I knew that's what. Six. I knew that's what was gonna happen. Even. Six even. So Five. unfortunate. Oh, no. oh, 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 it's six. No, oh, it went back to six. six. <laughs> it went back to six. Oh. Push it down a little bit. So unfortunately, we don't have like ounces or anything like that, so we don't know what the difference is. But for all intents and purposes, we're gonna say they're the same. Look at that, guys. And people say Teens doesn't get her hands dirty. She's over here helping him transfer over the uh, tire pressure sensor. Oh my gosh. You get it? Good. Did you blow your finger out? Um, no, painful. my thumb is good. That, yeah, the, the biggest thumb in the world. <laughs> Nothing's gonna hurt that, Brian. We're all aware. <laughs> all right, so he's got the uh, rotors switched over to the Rotobox Boost carbon wheels. Now he's gonna lube up the front tire and try to put it on here without ruining it. I told him, they're only four grand, Brian, no pressure. <laughs> he goes, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> he does this shit all the time. We're in good hands with Allstate. All right, look at that. Be careful, you don't expect them carbon wheels are really easy. Yeah, be really careful with those. You better know what you're doing when you're operating carbon wheels. <laughs> and then the customer comes back here and watches. I'm like the worst customer to have. Just stand over his shoulder yeah, watching him. Filling that puppy with air. Oh yeah. Let's listen to it pop, boys. 
Wait for, you already missed it. Wait for the pop. I did? Yeah, you're too slow. What a dick. Yeah, he just keeps he just keeps going. No, no. Oh god, here. Check it out guys. Moto Million is now making uh, pink sweatshirts. <laughs> if you want some, make sure you go to motomillion.com. <laughs> that's a joke, by the way. That's a joke. He's sponsored by Moto Million, that's why. Because he doesn't have a bike or a license. <laughs> That's all that really matters. He has the sticker, right? That's all that matters. All right, what's going on over here, Brian? <laughs> Teens wants to know how to uh, balance the wheel. Okay. So we let it come to a stop, and the light spot will be at the bottom, or at the top. The heavy spot will be at the bottom, and we'll rotate it, see how fast it'll go. Put the weight on to balance it out, and we can rotate it all the way around, and it'll stop in each position, and we know it's perfectly balanced. Oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it See, look at so carbon wheels are usually balanced by a lot less weight, right? Because they're lighter, yeah. so you don't have to put as many of those little. So when you see those little wheel weights on there, that's what they're doing. It's science. It's boring, but it's my life. <laughs> well, Alex just had a good question. He said, "Why does this matter?" And Brian, what did you say? Because if we don't balance it, when you go down the road, it'll be out of balance. You get a big wobble in the front end. So it would would it wobble like back and forth like this? No. So, oh, oh, kind of like you're going over bumps or something a little bit? Okay, gotcha. Interesting. So that's what he's doing. It took, what, six weights? Yeah. He's putting uh, three on one side and three on the other, and he, he used his black wheel weights, so they look really nice, too. I love it. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> All right, wheel is finally going back on, and let me tell you guys, that blue accent looks so incredible now that it's on the tire. Oh, my God, folks. Wait until we're done with this bike. It is going to be... A juicy piece of art. Oh, I can't wait. So guys, it doesn't really come across on camera. I'm looking at the lens right here, uh, as opposed to real life. It looks really, really good. So I'll try and take some really nice photos for the end of this and for my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, make sure you check that out because that's where I put really high quality photos on there so that you can look at them in tiny uh, pictures on our phones. <laughs> but yeah, it looks really, really good. I'm really happy with that. I can't wait to see how the back looks. All right, so the next thing we're doing is we're actually gonna replace the stock rear rotor with a new one from braking. Of course, we got from a Moto Million. Um, looks like right at two pounds for that one. Let's swap her out. See what this guy weighs. Let's see, oh damn. So that's just over a pound. So I'd say a little bit over half a pound, maybe three quarters of a pound right there on just the rotors. That's, that's cool, sweet. All right, so right now we're weighing the stock carbon wheel with the stock carrier since we have a new carrier for the new wheel. What are we at here? We're at 10 and a half pounds. 10 and a half pounds. Okay, let's see what the new one is. All right, guys, moment of truth. So we got the uh, new carbon wheel with the new carrier on there and nine and a half pounds. So we literally saved a pound on these wheels, which is totally fine with me. Obviously, a big part of this was because of the look of these and the safety factor since these are, haven't been cracking and things like that. So I'm stoked. Not to mention, we also saved, uh, what, a three quarters of a pound with this guy. So that is actually almost, uh, almost two pounds. Plus, when we do the chain and sprockets, I think we'll save another couple of pounds. And all those pounds add up, guys. That's how you get the super, super uh, weight savings. We've already got 18 pounds. Actually, we've already saved 20 pounds off the bike. So yeah. Again, all of these numbers don't really matter because we will weigh this again once we're done completely. So just trying to give you guys a little bit of information if you're interested in doing any of these mods for your own bike and how much they're going to save. All right, tire going on the rear wheel right now. And uh, it's going to look so good, guys. Looks even better than the front. Look at that. Woo! All right, putting air in this bad boy. Wait for the pop. There it is. Should get one more? Nope. Ah. They rolled over on the bottle. Just one. Yeah. Well, that's no fun. Guys, look how nice that uh, new rotor from braking looks. That thing looks so good on there. Look at that. Uh, uh, uh. All right, wheels going on. For right now, we're not going to install the chain and sprocket and all that. We'll save that for the next episode because we got stuff to do. We got to get out of here. But uh, we can take a look at how this looks once he gets this on. The chain is going to be hanging out though, so it's not going to look as good as it will. All right, so Preston's pushing this puppy outside for us. We're going to take a couple photos and uh see these puppies Woo, look at that guys look at how good that looks ignore the chain that's just hanging in the background that's going to get fixed tomorrow but uh wow that looks really really good hell yeah look at that guys oh just a little touch a little taste of where we're heading with this build imagine the whole thing carbon with the blue accents in the carbon blue accents on the wheels oh that blue titanium on the bottom 
Guys, this bike is gonna be crazy good looking when we're done. All right, so that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. We got those Rotobox Boost custom painted carbon fiber wheels installed. They look incredible. Saved about, I think, a pound or two pounds with the sprocket and the carrier that came with this one, and along with that rear brake from braking. Uh, again, if you want any of the parts that we put on this bike, check out Moto Million. It'll always be linked in the description below. You can always use Boot Camp Easy to save yourself some money. Huge shout out to Brian here at Santa Barbara Ducati for helping us out. We'll be doing the chain and sprocket next. That's also gonna save a couple pounds uh, at least. And uh, I'm super happy, man. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to check out the Patreon page if you want to help support the project and be entered to win this bike when we're done. And that's going to do it. See you guys in the next one.